What's up everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome to Let's Play Esther. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm not entirely sure. I actually just found this game a little while ago. I was looking for good like, games to play, and I came across this. This looked interesting. I like the reviews say this is a, one of the best first-person games to have ever come out in recent years, and you know, all that, all that stuff. But you know, you hear that about a lot of games, so who even knows what this is going to be like, but I'm hoping for the best. Options. Video, audio, video, audio, video, audio, video, audio. So yeah, on that note, let's get started. Um, I guess these are all the chapters in the story, so there's a lighthouse, the buoy. <laughs> That's how you do pronounce that, right? The caves and the bacon. Why is there so many bacons in every game I ever play ever? That's a question that will probably never be answered ever. Alright. Dear Esther. Esther, I have lost track of how long I have been here and how many visits I have made overall. Certainly the landmarks are now so familiar to me that I have to remind myself to actually see the forms and shapes in front of me. I could stumble blind across these rocks, the edges of these precipices, without fear of missing my step and plummeting down to sea. Yum. Besides, I have always considered that if one is to fall, it is critical to keep one's eyes firmly open. So, that was a thing. Um, I have... For this I've been in this game is I just loaded up to make sure it worked all properly as I do with most games I go to Let's Play. And this is a blind play by the way, I've never played this game in my life. And... Oh! Why? Falling in water gives you this really weird cutscene, I did see this. Actually, no I didn't! What the hell? That's weird. Okay, when I did boot up this game to play before, I fell in the water just to see if I could swim or not and... All it did is it just blacked out and put me up here. I did not get that weird cutscene. That's weird. So I don't really know the controls. It's just WASD to walk around. That's all I figured out. That flashlight that turns on automatically does so. I, do, I don't know if you could click anything to pick anything up. Or if it's literally just let's walk forever kind of game. Kind of spooked me out a bit actually. I don't know if this is... If there's anything like even to be scary in this game or not. Oh, that's kind of weird little camera. Huh. The camera kind of like sways back and forth. I don't even know if that'll be caught in the video or not, but it's kind of weird. That is some weird looking gra <laughs> grass. Glass. That's not grass. That's clearly glass, you silly little titty face. Okay, so I don't think there's anything in here besides a nice, delicious toilet. Ooh, there's a little shed here, though. Is there anything in here? Yeah. So yeah, that flashlight turns on automatically, which I don't know if that's like... I don't know how much of this game is going to be automated, but there's something up here. That's actually in the title screen as well, I do believe. I do declare. Does this like hurt you? Can it hurt in this game? Nope, doesn't look like. Uh, or maybe it's just barbed bar wire that doesn't hurt you, because I probably am like godly. <laughs> Who even knows, right? And I have no feet. Okay, so this is like Minecraft then where you have absolutely no feet. This actually looks kind of cool to be honest though. Can we make it across? Yes we can! We are the freaking mountain goats! We are the billy goats of this place. Donnelly reported the legend of the hermit. A holy man who sought solitude in oh, its great. most pure form. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Perhaps now, when all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side, and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he what? died of fever 116 years later. That's a long The shepherds time. left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly records they never claimed to have seen him. Oh. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Okay, so holding in the left mouse button actually seems to zoom in a bit. Which, when I saw this cave, I said, oh great, because I totally thought there was going to be like a, some old crazy guy in here that was going to eat me or something. That's probably not what this game is about at all. Uh, there was those rocks. I couldn't really seem to pass them there, so I don't know if that was anything at all. Um, can I cross this? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I am falling. I'm falling back to you. And we are now at the beach. We can now go swimming. I kind of like the graphics in this game, actually. It looks, it looks very melancholy. Melancholy. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce words. How does this even work? That's a nice little... You know, this kind of... Looks like a like, shipwreck, like he got here from a shipwreck or something. Like, look at all these old cages. I'm guessing this is for, like, fishing or something. 
Or maybe of like lobster cages or something. I'm hoping I'm going the right way. It's really difficult to tell. Although I, pr this is probably a linear game, right? I'm assuming. Ah, there we go. There's a path going up here. Totally saw this mountains looming up in the distance. I was totally like, oh, great, I'm gonna. When you were it. born, your mother told me a hush fell over the delivery room. <sighs> a great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that, but you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I began to manufacture vacuums just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. Um, what is this shape called? I've definitely seen this shape before that goes infinitely in a circle and it makes... Oh, maybe not. I thought it was that one... Ah, what's that? It's called the... Nah, I don't know. I kind of feel like this is an optional way. I'm going this way to see if there's anything over here. Because there was those, that scary staircase that went up that I could have gone up. I did want to see what was over here first, although I'm hoping... That's the thing about when there's mul when there like forks off in games. You never know which way to go. I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean. As shallow and unoccupied as this bay, a listless wreck without identification. My rocks are these bones, and a careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Huh. Shot through me caves. My forehead a mount. This aerial will transmit into me so. All overexposed, the nervous system, where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still trample. I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. Come, I don't think I want to go this way. <laughs> I do not feel like dying today. No, sir. Uh, I guess there was nothing this way after all. Which, honest, that's why I was saying, you never really know. When you come to a fork in a game like this, it's like... You kind of want to go the wrong way just to see what's that way. But it's like, if you go the right way, like, oh, man, I wonder what was down our other path. So it looks like I chose right this time, because I did want to see if there's anything interesting out here. There was there was those two car doors, which was kind of weird. That kind of made me picture, like, maybe there was a car crash there or something. Even though there's only the two doors, that is pretty weird. What is this? Mm, looks like an arrow or something. Wait, is it, like, platform nine and three quarters? If I run to this wall, it'll be... Oh, Hogwarts! Hogwarts, here we come! Ah, no Hogwarts. What's this? Piece of cloth? Alright. Alright, okay, we're making it up to the staircase now. I gotta say, this game makes you feel very lonesome. It's very, yeah, like I said, it's melancholy. We're just gonna walk up these stairs. It doesn't look like they've been intended to for a long time. They're barely even stairs anymore. Although, this railing seems to be holding up quite well. I must commend the handiwork of this woodsmith that created this walkway? Question mark? I think that's a thing. Oh, that's a weird rock pattern. That probably look like a walkie-talkie or something out the corner of my eye. There's another walkie-talkie! Where are these well, walkie-talkies are taking over the islands? Oh no! Or the coastline. I do think I read this place was... What? How's the lighthouse over there now? Oh, you know what? That's a starting house, wasn't it? I was, th I was thinking that lighthouse. I thought that building was the same as that one for a second. But apparently not. Alright, we're getting closer to the lighthouse. What could possibly be here? Or maybe it's not even a lighthouse. Maybe it's like... It looks more like a radio tower than anything. Especially getting close to it. Let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, I don't know. Could be Reading any Donnelly wall. by the that weak afternoon me. sunlight, he landed on the south side of the island, followed the path to the bay and climbed the mount. He did not find the caves, and he did not chart the north side. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend, but then he didn't have my reasons. Here, yeah, that's... Well, I did explore the cave, and I don't know if that where I followed the beach to that little river with the car doors. I don't know if that was the north side or not. Could have been, for all I know. Maybe he's talking about me. Hmm? Or he's commending my ability to actually... Can I actually when someone mind. died or was <laughs> dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, they cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk beneath. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and know to send aid or impose a cordon of protection wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff path died along with its hosts. 
Do you have vertical? My vertical? lines are just <laughs> to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Indeed it is, quite sir, quite good sir. I was going to say, I wonder if you could fall off and what would happen, but I really don't want to take the risk. I really don't feel like falling down and then just restarting me where I first began. Mm. This area honestly reminds me where I, where I used to live on the on the edge of a town. And like there was always just this grassland behind like my house. and They were God-fearing people, those shepherds. There was no love in the relationship. Stop interrupting my Donnelly stories! Donnelly tells me that they had one Bible that was passed around in strict rotation. It was stolen by a visiting monk in 1776, two years before the island was abandoned altogether. In the interim, I wonder, did they assign chapter and verse to the stones and grasses, marking the geography with a superimposed significance that they could actually walk the Bible and inhabit its contradiction. I feel very lost right now. I feel like I have no idea where I'm going. But yeah, um, behind my house there used to be like this grassland and they, oh, they had all these kind of plants and all that. It just kind of reminds me of walking through there right now. There wasn't, of course, a giant ocean river there. Oh, is that a boat? There's a boat. I saw a little white glowy thing over there. Maybe it's like the ghost ship, like in Wind Waker. By the way, the ghost ship in Wind Waker, holy crap, that always oh, scared me. Dear lot. Esther, Yes. I met Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, He'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. I guess that's our starting point over there. I was wondering if... Um, the cave entrance we saw before, I wonder if this was it. When we went through that little cave and we came out and we I could pass... I find myself increasingly unable to find that point where the hermit ends and Paul and I begin. Whoa. We are woven into a sodden blanket, stuffed into the bottom of a boat to stop the leak and hold back the ocean. My neck aches from staring up at the aerial, it mirrors the dull throb in my gut where I am sure I've begun to form another stone. In my dreams, it forms into a perfect representation of Lot's wife, head over her shoulder, staring along the motorway at the approaching traffic in a vacuum of fatalistic calm. It looks like chemical bonds right there, the OH, like hydrogen, oxygen and such. Interesting. I wonder if that's actually what that is or if that's just some kind of very convenient... Pattern. And these look like trees and lightning bolts and typical cave glowy stuff. Oh, that's it? Really? This is not the way I'm supposed to go? Oh. Oh! Well, that's kind of creepy. Oh, great. Oh, okay, never mind. That, that's fish bones. It's like, oh, great. So there's clothes, and there's a big pile of bones under here. And bread? Very moldy bread. And a paint can. Oh, I guess that was him painting. Clearly that's what it was. And fish. That looks. The fish looks pretty freaking recent. Not so much that one. That one does, though. Maybe that's just cooked. Well, that's kind of terrifying. <laughs> But um, on that note, I guess I'm going to call an episode there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Chris, and in the next episode, we will probably make it to the lighthouse. That was an interesting cave. Peace!